Hi, my name is Dr. Rolando Toyos. I'm a cataract, LASIK, and dry eye specialist out of Nashville and Memphis, Tennessee. We also have clinics in New York City and Mississippi. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the Carograph 5M. You've heard me talk about this before, but I'm actually gonna concentrate on a specific uh, topic when it comes to the Carograph, and that's my biography. And what I'm doing with my biography now is I'm actually using it as a pre-diagnosis for dry eye and to follow these patients post-diagnosis. And I think you can learn a lot from my biography. One of the good things about the Carograph 5M is it does give you a wide view of the my biography. So for example, uh, when we uh, lift the upper lid, we could actually see all those meibomian glands. And here are the things that I'm looking for when I'm looking at my biography. One is I'm looking for the regularity of the meibomian glands. So what it should be is a nice straight line and I'm looking for it not to be so full uh, with like a toothpaste-like secretion. So if it starts to lose that regularity of a nice straight line, the first thing that I'm seeing when these patients have abnormalities is they have a sausage-like look to their meibomian glands where you have these indentations in the meibomian glands. So that would be for me kind of stage one. Stage two for me is instead of a nice straight line, we start to get a veering of the line. And you can see that here. These aren't straight lines in this patient that's uh, abnormal. You start to see curvature in the meibomian gland. Curvature in the meibomian gland. And this is what you're gonna see before you, get, before you get a loss of these meibomian glands. So for example, this is when you see, and when you get dropout, is right before you get dropout, you see this irregularity where the meibomian gland is going from one spot to the other. What happens, starts to happen here is you start to get dropout. So right here, no meibomian gland. All right, so after I get that, then I'm looking for treatment. So I do a lot of different treatments. Most specifically, I do intense pulse light for dry eye. And then with intense pulse light, what I'm seeing is after several treatments, what will happen is where these meibomian glands are dropped out, you might, dis you might see them come back. But then where you see these irregular, irregular meibomian glands where they start to curve, or they don't have a straight line, as these patients get better, you see a nice, crisp, straight line, and then you start to see the glands get better. Another thing that you can use with the uh, Keratograph uh, 5M is get pictures of the lid margins. And the things that I'm looking for there is uh, patients with telangiectasias going to these meibomian glands. If they have telangiectasias, you know that they have some rosacea, 80% of patients with rosacea have meibomian gland dysfunction and dry eye. So that's another telltale sign. So um, I think my biography is becoming my number one way to use the keratograph in my practice. It's a good way to screen patients prior to surgery, prior to cataract and LASIK surgery, if they have dry eye along with doing fluorescein um, tear breakup time or a non-invasive tear breakup time. Uh, with the keratograph, getting that information, determining whether they have dry eye, start treatment, and then following what the meibomian glands look like after. So I'm coming to you live from Escaris 2019 in Paris, and this is one of the topics that has become a hot topic that we're talking about here. Thank you very much.